Hey everybody and welcome to Queen of Light 1111. Hope you're all doing well. I have received some new tarot decks, oh my god, that I've been using and I just love them. I did some readings for my members um, on both of my channels today and I really would say like if you were into the Egyptian, um, you know, um, timelines and that sort of connection, then I would really suggest these. These are very, very deep tarot decks. So there's this eternal tarot. I actually dreamt of this tarot deck. I saw pictures of this deck in my dream and I had no idea what this, that this deck even existed until I Googled, you know, some of the images that I, um, that I saw in my dream. So this is the eternal tarot. Um, it's 78 cards. It's it's 78 cards, so it's based on the the tarot system, but the meanings are completely different. So if you're interested um, in Egyptian-like tarot, Eternal Tarot is really good. I also have the Egyptian Gods Oracle cards and then the Egyptian Tarot. All of these are available on my Amazon storefront if you are interested and want to purchase um, these decks and work with them. It takes some study. It takes some confidence in the cards, and you really just have to sit with them a little bit, okay? If you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com, and special, special announcement. On August 14th at 12 noon, I am going to be hosting a small group workshop, and it is a healing and empowerment workshop for 11 people only. And in this session, we're going to discuss the journey. It's going to be a small group, only 11 people or less, right? Just no more than 11. We'll talk about the Twin Flame journey. We'll talk about your own personal challenges. We'll talk about your own personal opportunities. We will talk about detachment, how to, you know, surrender. And then we will close the session with an energy clearing that I will do for the group. There's only 11 spots available, and you can book that through my website at queenoflight1111.com. It's a healing, empowerment and healing workshop on August 14th, 12 noon through Zoom. So get your seat now. Let's go ahead and get started here with the bottom of the deck for Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine's overall energy towards her masculine is the in, in the energy of noon. And it's called resourcefulness, okay? So when this card comes out, this is all about like this masculine energy. Like you see this person, he's got the head of the ram. You know, the ram is Aries. Aries is emperor in the tarot. And so this person here is in the human body with the head of the ram. And this is this energy where it's about male fertility. It's about procreating. It's about breathing life into things. And so there's this energy of, you know, she desires a positive new beginning or a rebirth of her connection. But I feel like with this fragility card, which is the tower, I do feel like she is experiencing a breakdown of her wishes. I do feel like Divine Feminine for the last few days has been experiencing some sort of shakeup. Um, just being shaken to see the truth of situations. Um, there is this en energy of crumbling old paradigms, old ideologies, old thought patterns, old behaviors. And it's really kind of challenging her. It's challenging her to see her masculine clearly. It's, it's challenging her to see what it is that she desires more clearly. So things are feeling a little fragile for feminine. So in her overall energy towards the masculine, we're seeing that she's in the hermitage uh, energy. And it's in the energy of Honsu. Honsu. So when this card comes out, this is really this energy of someone who is kind of traveling or wandering. Uh, there's this energy of potential that she may see in the connection or see within masculine. But it's this energy of wanting to move forward, okay? It's an energy of just feeling like there's obstacles, there are barriers, 
Um, it's this energy of just feeling like there are some challenges, you know, and she's just really wanting to move out of that energy. It's this energy of discord. She may be feeling abandoned. Maybe there were promises made that weren't fulfilled. And so it's like some, she just feels her connection is lost, okay? So there's this masculine potential, but in this shakeup with the tower, she's really seeing things, you know, without any cloudiness, right? The universe has come in and said, look at everything very, very clearly about what it is that you want. And so she's in this energy of introspection. She's kind of wandering. She sees the potential, but she does see that there is an abandonment of this connection with the lover's card. And here we have three people. And it's an abandonment of the connection because of a job, because of another person, because of, you know, a family member. And so she's really experiencing this fragility as related to masculine right now. Now, what about masculine's energy towards the feminine? Bottom of the deck, we have righteousness. Look at this person is a snake, right? With a, with a um, human head. So when we get this card, it's called righteousness. It's called Mertziger, okay? So when this card comes out in this deck, it's this energy of justice. It's an energy of truth. It's an energy of also silence. So for masculine, his energy towards his feminine bottom of the deck is he's being very silent. He may be giving her the silent treatment, he may not even be communicating with her. Maybe he's deceived her in some way. It's also this energy of wanting some sort of forgiveness, wanting to have forgiveness, but also realizing that if he wants forgiveness, he's got to sincerely repent. And so he's on guard. He's on guard. He knows there's deceit. He knows there's conflict. So he's choosing to stay in silence, counseling. He's in this energy of getting assistance or help or some sort of counsel about how to bring in balance, how to bring in this judgment, how to bring in you know, balance to this connection without having the danger of things you know, falling apart again. Right? He wants to bring in balance. He wants to bring in abundance. He wants to bring in the Ten of Pentacles. So that's the bottom of the deck. So what is his energy towards his feminine? We have this energy of completeness. Nifertum. So when Nifertum comes out, this is the energy of him, you know, understanding that he needs to be complete. He needs to be complete. He can't come in and half do anything anymore. It's this energy of... You know, he knows he's been suffering. It's the energy of knowing that things need to regenerate in this connection, that he needs to align with the universe in order for things to be successful with feminine. He needs to come into the fullness of his own energy, and only then will the right reward and the right place and the right thing happen. And then we have the dispenser card, which means that he has to come into his righteousness in order to, you know, bring in the energy of forgiving and receiving forgiveness. This is the energy of being intelligent. It's the energy of being noble, right? It's the energy of having mercy. And this is what he wants to bring in, justice again. Justice is that energy of truth, fairness. It's about karma. And so masculine knows that he's done something wrong. He's getting counseling about how to bring in abundance to this connection again. Because he knows he's got to be in his power in order to dispense balance, to bring in justice, to bring in truth and fairness and apology. So it really, really, really feels like feminine's like, you know, look, spirits telling me I need to look at this clearly. I need to no longer be in my delusion. 
I need to keep moving forward and not just fall in love of potential with the masculine. And masculine's in this energy of, I know I need to come into my power. I know I need to repent. I know I need to bring in justice and truth and fairness. I know I need to bring in the apology. You can't make it up. Two major arcanist card, lovers, justice. Bottom of the deck, nine of cups, 10 of pentacles. It very, very much feels like there is an alignment happening. Okay, but feminine is in this energy of detachment and surrender and clarity. She no longer wants to fall in love with someone's potential. She wants the reality. And the reality is what masculine is going to bring in, in the form of truth, fairness, righteousness, and justice. If you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, or if you want to join me for that healing and empowerment workshop on the 14th, go to Queen of Light, 1111.com. Only 11 seats available. Bye.